Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome to Michael Little's Barbecue. I uh, been a lot of quests to do some videos on my Yoder today, so I'm gonna be doing some beef ribs. Haven't done any beef back ribs in a long time, and they had some at the local grocery store here, so I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot. I will show you here what I've got. It's got these two racks of baby backs, beef baby backs. Um, we'll see how they turn out. About, probably about two and a half, three pounds each one. Um, the rub I used today, I used this Cosmos Q cow cover. So, should be good for beef. And uh, I've tried it on some other things before and it turned out really good. So, just figured I'd go simple today. Just put a little bit of olive oil down as a binder and uh, rub them down. And uh, yeah, I will be getting my yoder fired up. I'm going to be infusing some uh, mesquite wood today and I'm trying to run a temperature around 250 275. So I'm not quite sure how long these will take. I'm not sure if I'm going to wrap them yet. I'm kind of playing these by ear. I don't do beef ribs that often. So we'll see how it turns out. But uh, stay tuned and I will show you guys how they're coming along. Alright, I just want to show you guys here. Getting my yoder going. I got some uh, lump charcoal underneath. Then I got a lump, some lump charcoal in this little chimney here. And once that gets good and hot, I'll pour those in and then start adding some wood to it. So I got some mesquite wood and uh, yeah, gonna start getting these ribs on once it comes up to temperature. So just kinda wanted to show you guys um, how it gets going. I also wanted to show you guys, some people have asked about this. I got this new damper for this Yoder Cheyenne. I guess if you contact Yoder themselves, they will uh, sell it to you. I think it's like 15 bucks or something, but it's supposed to help with the airflow a little bit when the door's shut. Um, I still leave it open sometimes because I like a really clean fire, but it's supposed to supposed to help. Um, so yeah, if you guys are having any issues with your Yoder Cheyenne or Yoder Wichita or anything, um, I know for sure they have this new damper for the Yoder Cheyenne. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll show you how the ribs turn out. All right, guys, let me show you the ribs here. See how they're coming along. They're just about done. I think this rack might be done over here. Let's see here. Let me probe it. Oh yeah, it's sliding through like butter. Oh yeah, it's reaching over 200 degrees on the thermometer. This one might have a little bit longer to go. Yeah, it's almost done. So yeah, they're almost done. These pretty small racks, doesn't take very long. But yeah, you can see it. Nice pull back on the bones there. So we will be taking these off, letting them rest for about 30 minutes. And then I'll cut them up and give you guys a taste test. All right guys, I got one of these racks done. Go ahead and take a bite. Let me show you here. And get it to focus a little bit better. Very good smoke ring on there. Um, yeah, it looks really good. I did, I did leave the membrane on there. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take those off or not on the beef ribs. But we'll give it a bite here and see. Yeah, maybe I should have. It was a little hard on there. but That was an excellent flavor. Good bite mark on there. Excellent ribs. Oh, that that uh, cow cover rub that uh, from Cosmos Q, very good. Very good rub. It was excellent on beef. So if you need, I have nothing but good things to say about Cosmos Q's products. His rib rubs are good. All of his chicken rubs and his now his beef rub, just excellent, excellent products. So yeah, these beef ribs turned out great. Great smoky flavor off that Yoder Cheyenne. Uh, I probably would remove the membrane next time, um, but. It's not going to affect the taste. It makes it a little bit harder to bite through, but that's okay. Um, really good flavor. Um, definitely be doing some more of these in the future. So, if you like my channel, um, make sure you like it and subscribe to your channel, my channel if you haven't already. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.